Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. So in today's lesson, we are going to be talking about Microsoft Azure Fundamentals certification. And I'm going to tell you what all it requires to uh, apply for or register for this certification and how to clear them. Also, I'm going to share my experience and how much uh, preparation time it required me in order to clear this certification. And now let's begin actually, let's start looking on the screen and you can see here uh, we have uh, the first link which is talking about Microsoft uh, AZ900 certification. So all uh, in order to just search for this, all you have to do is you can just Google Microsoft Azure AZ900 and then you can just click on this link and then you are going to be taken on this page. Now here on this page you can see an option of scheduling an exam and here you can see uh, you can select the country in which you want your exam to be proctored now if your exam is going to be proctored in united states then the fee is 99 usd and if i change it to let's say india then it's going to be only 3696 so this is what i really like that it seems to be based on the earning potential of the country so for example it's really going to be you know uh, hard for people to spend hundred dollars just for certification in india uh, so that's really a good decision and also since I took uh, I was you know I got my exam proctored in Indonesia so uh, fee for me was around 55 USD so now other thing which you can see here on the left hand side you can see an option of scheduling the exam with uh, Pearson view or Certiport and other thing other than this which is very important is that if you are impacted by COVID-19 or you are a student in that case you can just schedule any exam for only USD 15 now I'm not sure how long this uh, offer is going to last but right now these options are available. So I had uh, registered my exam with or scheduled my exam with Pearson View. So for that you just need to click on uh, schedule with Pearson View and once you do that uh, you can see it is going to be taking you to the next uh, screen. And if you have not signed up with Pearson then it is probably going to ask you to sign up for Pearson for the first time and then you, uh, after that it is going to link your uh, your account basically your Microsoft account with a Pearson account and then from next time onwards it is not going to ask you to uh, log in to Pearson and all so that's uh, pretty straightforward so once you follow those instructions you are going to be able to schedule the exam and other thing which now you need to see is uh, official practice test now official practice test which you see here is actually paid one so you can click here for example let me open it in a new tab and uh, this is actually a, a paid uh, practice test but you can see that you know once you go for this practice test there is almost guaranteed that everything is going to be covered from this so uh, yeah the price of this is around you can see depending on uh, you know for how many days you want the access so if you want the access of this practice test for 30 days uh, it is of 99 USD and I have not really used it so I'm just gonna show you what I did so I didn't use this practice test now let's uh, scroll down and talk about what are the skills which uh, they are going to measuring you on for uh, clearing this Microsoft Azure AZ900 certification. In short, if I want to, you know, uh, give you some, you know, basically in short, if I want to say, I can say that uh, this is a fundamental exam. This is a very easy exam and everything is going to be, you know, a quite fundamental things which they are going to be asking you. So for example, here you can see uh, th this is how your exams are going to be divided into sections and now you may see you know questions coming from different section and they might not be in in an order but um, when you see uh, in whole exam they are going to be measuring you on these topics or they are going to measure your knowledge on these topics so first thing you can see is describing cloud concept which is going to have weightage of 20 25 percent so almost uh, 20 25 percent of the questions you can assume that it is going to be coming uh, around describing cloud concept and then there is going to be questions about describing core Azure services. Then there is again going to be question about describing core solution and management tools on Azure. Uh, then it's going to be security and networking features. Uh, it is going to be identity, governance, privacy and compliance features. And then it's going to be Azure cost management and service level agreements. So if you see it is all about you know just you having an overview of all the products or all the offerings which are available in Microsoft Azure 900 and you need to be aware of uh, you know some core concepts or some fundamental concepts and then everything is going to be very easy. Now you can click on download uh, download exam skill outline and then it is going to open up this PDF 
uh, which you can download as well and then for each of these section you can see what are the you know details which you should be aware of for example for describing cloud concept these are the topics which you should be aware of now what i did here is if you just scroll down you can see there are two ways to prepare for this exam so one is you can go for online free you know uh, these a learning path so i actually followed this learning path and if you go through and you read all of these learning path and you follow all the instructions and you just you know grasp all the information in that case it is going to be very easy for you to just clear the certification you don't really need to do anything else you don't probably need to even go for any uh, practice papers you don't need to go for any brain dumps uh, this is going to help you clear the certification now just make sure you go through all the modules one by one and also make sure you give uh, sufficient time in order to go through all these modules so what i did was Uh, I did I spent around 1 week and I was going through all of these modules probably one module a day uh, some day I was even going for two modules so I would recommend going for one module a day and then uh, learning for 7 days and then you can uh, very easily you should be able to clear the exam now other important thing you know which we need to remember is that you need to register for the exam and in case you are not really you know you are not really ready for the exam then uh, you can reschedule the exam as well So I would recommend if you have made up your mind that you you want to you know clear this certification or you want to get uh, AZ fundamentals certified in that case I would recommend you to register for the exam because registering for the exam is going to you know set up a deadline for you so let's move on uh, once you register for or you once you schedule uh, the certification in that case you are going to receive an email from Pearson so for example in this case you can see I have received an uh, you know an email from Pearson talking about my you know certification schedule and this is of da 100 certification what you need to do here is you can here you can see test your system so make sure you test your system properly before uh, before you know before the day of the exam because sometimes your system might not be able to run the software which is required or it may have some audio problems or may have speaker problems or may uh, uh, there may be camera problem as well so this is this software once you click on test your system it is going to test audio and video and going to check whether your speaker is working if everything is working fine then in that case it is just going to you know tell you everything is working fine and also you need to uh, download a software which is called on view uh, software and you need to log into that software uh, on the day of your exam so when on the day of your exam uh, 30 minutes before the scheduled exam you can click here on check in to start exam so once you click on here it is going to then going to give you a number so for example let me just click on here and then as of now it is probably going to say that uh, exam schedule has not uh, reached yet or something like that you can see that i'm receiving an error but if you click on this link within 30 minutes before your exam in that case it is going to uh, show you a code you need to copy that code and you need to put that code on on pearson uh, software and then your exam is going to get started just in case you want to uh, reschedule your exam so uh, for example i got a reminder that uh, my exam is uh, certification is actually on sunday and i guess i'm not really quite prepared for this certification so what i i have done is you can see here that please be sure to cancel or reschedule on your certification dashboard so you can click here and follow the link and then it is going to take you to this dashboard and here on this dashboard you are going to see all the certification exam which you have scheduled and it is going to show you date and time of all of those now you can click on start on like in exam to start the exam or you can reschedule it so i'm just going to click on reschedule and, and i'm going to actually reschedule this exam uh because i need some more time in order to prepare for this exam so i'll be rescheduling it later but let's now talk about you know uh whether this exam was easy or difficult so this exam actually is quite easy if you are someone who who is who are already aware of a uh, basic cloud concept um, you are someone who knows uh, you know cost saving potential on cloud and what is capex what is opex uh, you are someone who already knows about uh, what is basic identity is an access management then it is going to be very easy for you to uh, clear this uh, exam and it is also going to be very easy for you to prepare this exam and you don't really need to have any hands on experience in order to uh, clear this certification this is a quite fundamental level of certification so that's all i had to uh, share as of now so again uh, stay subscribed and please follow my uh, tutorial in which i'm going to show you how to clear microsoft azure certification thank you so much for watching see you again in the next video